Hello, and we're back with more Gunner Heat PC content, and this time I'm going to be playing a mission called Combat Team, and it's for the Fulda Outskirts uh, map. And so for this mission, we're going to be playing as the M1 Platoon in the Combat Team task of seizing a village on the opposing ridge. The enemy has been digging in and are prepared for your attack. You are to advance with the supporting Bradley Platoon to destroy the enemy. The, a supporting fire mission has been called to suppress the enemy in the village prior to advance. And so for the enemy, we got one company plus an attached recce. So two BMP-1 platoons and two T-72A platoons. Uh, so possible BRDMs and also ATGMs as well too. And so for us, we have four M1 IPs and also four M2 Bradleys supporting us. Or we're going to be supporting them. So our mission is pretty simple. You're a combat team to advance on the opposing ridge line to destroy the enemy force and seize the ground. It sounds like a advanced secure mission, so should be pretty straightforward from there. All right guys, so I paused the mission just so that we can take a look at the map real quickly. So from where we're at to the enemy uh, company, to the ridge line, about maybe like a kilometer or so. Um, so it's gonna be a far range engagement. We can expect some T-72s located in this area and some BMPs maybe scattered around and we are to take this ridge line over here. And so what we'll do is we'll probably hold here for a bit. We'll uh, hold down here by the hill up front, take down any uh, T-72s and BMPs. Uh, the Mayukas from the BMPs can be deadly, so that's why we'll probably hold down in this location first before we advance. And depending on our Bradleys, we'll move up with them and take over the this ridge over here. So that's our objective. All right, so I'm gonna unpause. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is probably a good place for us to hold down. Switch to thermals. Slowly move up. Okay, can we contact? All right, lays and fire. The hit. Contact down. And fire. I think we got him there. Fire. Looks like our Arties. Yeah, that was over. Got lays. He's hold down pretty well. I'm sure we hit him though. He's smoking out, so I'm assuming he's down. Okay, got some BMPs. Let's take a look at our other uh, Abrams and Bradleys. The Bradleys are holding up to our right. We move down a bit. He's still up, no? Okay, he's, he's down. I think there's one over there, yep. By that house. Nope. Oh, he's still up. Oh, I do see the EMP moving on to the left. It's pretty hard to see through that smoke. Oh, I see him. Hold and fire. Go back. Okay, we got him though. Alright, so it looks like we got all the BMPs here, I think. Just gonna watch the ridge line. So I think all of our Abrams are okay, and the rallies are moving up to our right. Look at that party barrage. If you haven't watched my recent video of the update, I encourage you guys to check it out. You can see here the grass is a lot more well detailed. So, really nice to see how they upgraded the visuals a little bit. And also the bags in the back of the Abrams, they, they do wiggle. Also the immersion, I guess. Ooh, Artie. So I found out earlier that the Arties can actually do a bit of damage. One time I 
wanted to experiment and hit my loader. It wounded my loader actually, so they can do damage inside at least from my small little experiment. It's pretty loud. We're gonna quickly move up. We're gonna move towards the hill up front. We do need to watch up as we're moving because if there is an enemy in there, they can actually can actually get us. I'm sure our Bradleys are okay. this uh, small little hill. I'm going to take a look what's up there first before we move up more. Those were the BMPs. I'm going to move up. It would be nice if you can draw like phase lines and all that stuff. Just like in Steel Beast Pro, kind of coordinate your attacks a little bit more. Yep, so our Bradleys are right behind us. I'm gonna go around a little bit, because this is pretty steep. Sure, we're moving in a wedge. Yeah, that's some heavy arty right right now. Oof, really loud. But for no contact. I'm not sure if this is our arty or their arty, but it's really close. Tanks are okay. Oh, there's one over there. That's really close. Another tank. Oh, he's good. Okay. That one's still up. We're gonna hide behind this little hill right here. One more, one more, one more. I went over a little bit. The last one too. There you go, we got him. All right, so we have taken the, the objective. The already has stopped. Looks like we took another objective and there was an enemy counter attack, but thankfully we were able to pick them out. Quite effective here. We're going to take a look at the after action report. All right, so in this after action report, our friendly Irums when fired at this T-72. We saw two T-72s that were here, holding up by this ridge line. This one, this T-72 was quite well hidden. He was hauled down pretty well. So it took us a few shots, I believe. And then the BMPs were located by the objective. And we got more that was coming in. So those were our arty. The Bradleys were also doing a good job in taking out the EMPs. Ah, so these are the ATGMs. I didn't see this guy, but our Bradleys did a really good job in taking them out because in the Intel report, it did say it will be ATGM teams. So thankfully our Bradleys took them out. So this one was falling back. It was really hard to see with the trees and smoke with the arties, but we managed to him out as he was falling back. Okay, so for this part, we um, saw the T-72s here and they were moving up on us. 
I think that was a quick reaction force, so we managed to send one round in, but it didn't go through because uh, heat was loaded in. And then right here we had our other Abrams who took out the one on the left. Middle one was still moving up. This one hit the front of the T72, didn't do too much. I think we, I think we took like a few shots into the 72s. It's pretty quick. This one, I'm not too sure why our Abrams was facing the back towards them, but hit the back. Definitely went through. Definitely damaged the crew inside as well. Might have killed them actually. Might have killed the uh, gunner in this one. And then our Bradleys were also engaging them with their tow launchers. We also got hit. I remember hearing some shots. So, didn't do too much here. And then this one was retreating and we managed to hit him in the back with a sable round and that finished him. Alright guys, to conclude my thoughts and summary of this mission, I would say this is a good mission to play long range and to practice holding down and doing some burn drills with your Abrams. It's, uh, it's a nice old and advanced kind of type of mission where you scan and you move up and you take an objective. Last part of where the T-72s came up was definitely a big surprise if you're not expecting, but because the mission didn't really end it until that, you know, there was a potential chance of a counterattack. I think it would be cool if there's an option to play as the Red 4 for this mission, where you play as one of the T-72s and that you're watching over the ridge for the NATO advance. I think by being able to play as the Red 4, it'll really test your skills, especially going up against the Abrams and Bradleys which means you will have to rely on good tactical decisions and having good positions to hold down and even just doing some burn drills for more survivability. I think it will be a good challenge. But overall, this is still a fun and good mission to play as for the NATO faction. So that's pretty much it for this mission. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this and subscribe to stay up to date on my future content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay blessed.